Elastomers serve in some tough applications. They provide flexibility and absorb shocks, and they have to survive many repeats of loading. This doesn't happen by accident. Before a design goes into service, the development team has to go through a trial and error process, and they have to make all sorts of decisions. They decide what rubber compound to use, they decide part shape and part dimensions, they work out allowable loads. It takes months to resolve the issues and build a prototype. Then it's time to qualify. If the prototype fails to survive, it's back to the drawing board and the process is repeated until success is finally achieved. It's a very time consuming and expensive process. We give people a way to sort design options before the build and break experiments. Our customers spend tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars per iteration of their development process. They want to get the design right the first time and end up with an optimized design. Take this CV boot. The boot covers a joint that transmits torque from the transmission to the tire through an angle that changes as you steer the car. The boot keeps grease in and dirt out, but it also has to survive something like a hundred million revolutions of the shaft. Endurica has developed a patented fatigue solver that predicts the durability of elastomer components. Our solver takes the strain history from your finite element analysis of your part in operation and a description of your particular rubber compound and it tells you how long your part will survive in service. Our fatigue solver is purpose developed specifically for elastomers and it's been extensively validated under a large range of conditions. It puts powerful methods at your fingertips and provides a simple workflow that makes it easy for analysts to compute and troubleshoot fatigue performance. As a third year mechanical engineering student at Notre Dame, I had my first internship at Endurica and my first summer project was to model a CV boot and look at different design options and see how that might affect its life. My first model took me about 20 hours to build. Uh, once that was done, I could specify the turning angle, like your tire turning, and then once the turning angle was set, the boot would rotate one full revolution. And with that one full revolution as the operating cycle, uh, the Endurica program takes that and it repeats it over and over again. And then uh, once it's through all its calculations, it gives you the location and the time that the boot will fail. Once the information was down, it was a lot easier for me to uh, get the analysis down. Uh, that first model took me about two weeks to build. Uh, once I learned the program and everything, I could do another analysis in about two hours. The range of design options that an analyst can simulate in a few days' time is far beyond what traditional build and break approaches can support. This is a real game changer since fatigue testing is the most costly and time consuming product testing that we do. Virtual approaches take risk and cost out of development programs and still give a more completely explored design space and a better overall design. Get durability right before you build and break. Endurica.